Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising, a weekly tarot reading April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019 and uh, bear with me guys for a second to shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight to uh, the spread. Right, so the first card which is marking Pisces topic of the week that is going to be the Queen of Cups followed by the second card which is the challenges uh, of Pisces week that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles third card is the positive aspect of the week for you guys that is going to be the uh, Six of Cups and the last one which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you that is to be the uh, Ten of Wands so we do have the Queen of Cups as a topic, followed by the Knight of Pentacles as a uh, challenge. Then it is the uh, Six of Cups as a, a positivity. And finally, uh, we do have the Ten of Wands as a, a guidance. So it does look like that you are going to have being tour in between two people. Okay, two people which you will be quite apprehensive to decide which you are to associate yourself with. That could be a love triangle into your romantic life. It could be as well, you know, a partnership, business partnership. Who knows? It could be also a um, kind of like friendship to decide uh, which friend's idea you are to withstand or going to stand behind. So the topic of your week is going to be this person here, which is the Queen of Cups, a, a very gentle person, person who truly understands the nature of your plights and how much you either are happy or suffering through your uh, pleasant experiences and through your plights as well. The thing with this uh, person here, which is the topic, is going to be that uh, she very well understands your nature. I'm saying she because it's the queen, but it could be as well a male, you know, and um, this uh, person itself kind of plays a, a huge emotional contentment into the relationship that they do have with you. So if you are a single, um, that card could represent a person that wants to connect with you in a very emotional way. Uh, however, with the Queen of Cups, it is very important, you Pisces, to realize that this, uh, this um, uh, how do you say it, discretion, all right? Discretion is a virtue. I mean, they, this person does not want you to brag about, you know, how good relationship you can have in between one another. So if that's a business partnership, you know, it will be best if you keep that business partnership for yourself. You know, if this is a uh, attempt to romantic relationship or uh, deepening into one, uh, one romantic relationship, it will be best if you keep discretion about it as well. And uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the two of swords formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we do have here. So the whole thing, it's uh, rather not going to be very peaceful in the sense of that, you know, there will be those emotional turmoils. It could be drama shared in between you and that person as well. And that very well could be seen here in the next follow-up, especially as the Knights of Pentacles comes as a challenge, 
card. So definitely you are not going to feel that determination or rather like um, how do you say it when you make up your mind? So you will not be able to de uh, definitively make up your mind whom you are going to associate yourself with because from one to the other person, you have to choose one. You cannot have both. All right. Uh, additionally to that, uh, it will the whole situation. It looks like that is going to be very demanding. What I mean is that you cannot stall it, uh, stall it forever in the sense of that no, no deciding which one you are going to associate yourself with. Because uh, uh, other way around, I mean, if you don't make up your mind rather quickly, then both people are going to stop being present in your life. The second card is the challenge here, and that is the Knights of Pentacles. The whole reason why the Knights of Pentacles comes as a challenge and not as a topic, it is because Knights of Pentacles is more tenacious. They are more... Um, how can I place it active and persistent, all right? They are more meticulous, and they very well know what they want, and they want you for one or another reason. They either want you as a business partner, they either want you as a uh, romantic partner, they either want you as a friend as well. They see huge potential in you guys, and they are going to be much more active than the Queen of Cups, all right? They will, for example, constantly bombard you with messages. They will, they will constantly try to seek your uh, presence, for example, your company, and so on and so forth. And also with this card, it does look like that they are are going to invite you quite a lot on dates, meetings, and will try to spend as much time as possible alone with you, not among other people, but alone with you. While the Queen of Cups is going to uh, adopt more passive, um, passive standpoint, where um, if you bump up together, great. If you don't, Queen of Cups is going to feel rather disappointed, but in the same time, uh, it's not going to take any measures. That is because the Queen drowns in her emotions and uh, the Queen will try to figure out what the emotions are on the both fields, your and hers, and that is depriving her from taking any actions towards you, that is. And the challenge here with this uh, person resides that you kind of give equal treatment to both. It's because this is going to, this one is going to be more tenacious, all right? Uh, you will have, you will find it challenging, you know, to spare time for the other one, which is the Queen of Cups. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the um, Nine of Wands. So formation, it is again a passive neutrals. And it seems that that person is, will try to establish the rules of the game. What I mean is that they will try to manipulate you to, um, how can I place it, to form the situation? Or rather like, they will, they will try to make it like you uh, are creating the situations in between. But in, in reality, they are creating the circumstances under which you are creating the situation, if that makes sense. So eventually the situation becomes perfect for them. The thing, however, is that as we do have the nine of uh, wands, you do obtain a certain amount of control over uh, the situation itself that uh, regards to the both people. And you get to decide how much time you're going to uh, spare for both of them, all right? And here it is advisable for you to um, spare equal amounts of time and equal amounts of attention to uh, both of these people. The uh, positivity that we do have, that is going to be the Six of Cups. And you are going to have a very good time with either of them, all right? I mean, and the good thing with this card is that probably you will find emotional and physical attraction to both of them as well. Additionally to that, the Six of Cups, it does point that this week is going to be very creative of, of your behalf and you will have no reason whatsoever to attend to chores and uh, truly poignant activities, but rather you will have all the time in the world to attend only to those pleasant enterprises that you would really enjoy to um, to contribute into. In in general and in reality, this week is going to be very pleasant and satisfiable for your behalf, and you are going to find yourself very very happy for throughout uh, the week. The accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Wands. 
and the formation is a passive enemy is here. So with the, the what Tree of Wands adds as a shade is that you have so much more to accomplish in, in this, in such created situation. So uh, the card itself points guys that you should not try to push and force any kind of either decisions or any kind of actions from those people, you know, but just enjoy the moment. It is all that it is needed here to enjoy the moment and to leave those people to actually present what they can offer on the plaza, what they can offer on the table. And ultimately, when they lay down their cards, you know, and they show you what they can offer to you, either emotional or either, you know, material satisfaction, you are to decide which one you are going to go with. Okay. So uh, one thing I forgot to mention is what is going to be the benefits. Now, if you associate yourself with the Queen of Cups, <clears throat> which is the emotional person, obviously you are to experience huge surges of love and emotional contentment. But uh, because the Two of Swords is there, um, this, the, the whole situation or the whole relationship is going to seem somewhat a bit unstable. Uh, like uh, there, there could be jealousy there, daydreaming, you know, and... and <clears throat> Not being able to say what follows next, like uh, vagueness about what future holds for you both and so on and so forth. Now, if you associate yourself with the Knights of Pentacles, however, there you are to be able to see an established future because the Knights of Pentacles is very meticulous into their preparation. Also, the Knights of Pentacles is likely to be very well secured materially and uh, they are to offer you uh, rather good opportunities. The problem there is that the love is really on the back seat with the Knights of Pentacles. Because the problem is that they make relationships through trust and through mutual reliability rather than through mutual love. So they will care less do you love them or not, you know. They only will care if your appearance is okay, you know, and uh, how trustworthy you are. So if you want to go with the, king, with, the, with the Knights of Pentacles, then you need to show yourself rather well, um, <clears throat> kind of like reliable and uh trustworthy as well. And finally, we do have the guidance that is the Ten of Wands. So the guidance regards to when you make your decision, which one you are to associate yourself with, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. That card points that either of those choices, it's a, a very good opportunity for you to improve your environment. That is first thing. But the second thing, it does shows that you uh, will have to also be prepared to uh, please these people as they are to please you as well, or that person you decide to be with or to move along with uh, further into the future. So it's kind of like a, a mutual compromise and mutual um, states of, of pleasing uh, of pleasing one another. Additionally to that, this card points that you cannot, uh, as a guidance, that you cannot carry the burden of being associating with both of them. And you will have to eventually, you know, sever the ties with one of these people. The problem here, guys, is that these both people are going to be very dear to your, to your heart. It could be, for example, let's say that you are a very handsome woman and you are in a very good social circle and two males from that social circle truly wants to make a relationship with you and you have to decide one of them you know and by deciding one of them you are kind of like putting the other in a state where they are no longer friends of friend of yours they are no longer suitor of yours and basically you're gonna lose them all right in one form or another but eventually that decision needs to be made because otherwise it's just a stagnation into that social circle for you and for those people as well and the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, knight of swords here formation is active uh, friends like I said at the start, you cannot store the decision as um, um, too long, all right? You will have to most likely make that decision throughout the week whom you're going to associate yourself with. But the Knights of uh, Swords here adds a uh, shade that you will have to align your logic with your emotions. In other words, ultimately, you will have to decide in a favor of the one that you're feeling most happy with, okay? So if you're feeling happy being... Uh, materially secured you go with the um, knights of pentacles if you're feeling happy having that emotional search you are going with the queen of cups it does depend what makes you happy but you should not overlook you know your um 
your criteria, so this is what I'm trying to say, of what truly makes you happy. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 29th to May 5th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.